by Winnie Madikazela Mandela to get ownership of Nelson Mandela's Kunu home. Customary law took center stage at the Mtata High Court in the Eastern Cape on day two of Marikizela Mandela's bid to get ownership of Madiba's home. Council representing Land Affairs Minister said that Marikizela Mandela should have known that the property was donated to Madiba and as such gave him exclusive control over it. The donation of the Kono property to Madiba and its registration in his name was at the heart of submissions today. This donation gave Madiba the right to include the property in his will. Council representing government says Madigizela Mandela should have known about this. The court should look at the, at the veracity and the way it should be based, that should be based on that evidence. Look at what she, she says, I didn't know that the land, that a deed of grant had been registered over this land. This is the person my lord, and my, my lord and my lady who says this about her divorce. The divorce order, order itself has been shown to me for the first time in August 2015 by my present attorneys of record. Otherwise, I didn't even know its terms. Does she want you to believe that the person divorced in 1996, she never saw the divorce order? Matikizela Mandela bases a claim on customary law claiming her customary marriage to Madiba was never dissolved. The so-called customary marriage between the applicant and Mr. Mandela outlived the divorce order which was made by the South Houghton High Court in 1996. Our primary submission will be that the divorce court order put an end to whatever marriage relationship would have existed between the parties. Matikizela Mandela's legal team insists that the property belongs to their client under customary law. The value of the Kono disputed property is more than 4.5 million rand and the size is 95.6 hectares. This is what Matikizela Mandela says belongs to her and not Madiba's third wife, Grasha Mashal. Zimkita Mangana, SABC News, Mtata High Court.